Hey scholars, I'm so glad you're here today. Let's learn together. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly cite a web page and we are going to use our notes page and get all the information and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. Now, whenever we're doing research, whenever we're we're gonna cite something, we have to say where we got it. So we wanna make sure that as we're doing our research, we are documenting the web pages we are searching. Now, for this project, we're probably just sticking to web pages, but you might also be citing books. We're gonna talk about videos in another video. Videos in another video. Yep, that's right. Okay, so if you look right here, when we are doing a, a website, we have to document it by doing the title of the page, period parentheses, the year published, and parentheses, period. The site name, period, retrieved, and then we had to put the date we were visiting the site from, we have to put the website address, URL. So whenever we go to a site, we want to get that information. So as you may or may not know, I researched Shirley Chisholm for my, my project. So here is the Britannica School Middle uh, page. So I can see that's the title of the page here. The title of the web page is Shirley Chisholm. So if I were to go to my notes here, the title of my web page would be the title of the actual page I'm looking at. Not like the person that's hosting it, Britannica, but the name of the page I'm on. So I'm going to write here, title of my web page is Shirley Chisholm. I'm going to skip the year published for right now because I also can find right here my Britannica School Middle. That's the name of the website. So put that in. So now we want to find the year published and the URL. So I'm going to look on this page and see if I can find anywhere. Sometimes it'll say right up here on pages like this article was originally published on, but there's nothing here. So I'm going to keep looking. Sometimes this is hard. And here is down in the bottom corner, the, the most recent updated version is 2020. So we're going to use that date. And of course, for our URL, we are going to just take the URL, the website address. We're going to click up there. We're going to press Control C, and then we're going to go back to our paper and press Control V, and it's going to paste it right in there for us. So once we have that information, when we create our Works Cited page, if we were to pull information from that page, we would use all that information to create that. So let's do that. So we're going to start off with the title of our page. It was Shirley Chisholm. Now I'm going to put a period because that's what is in the uh, directions right there. So you can see there's a little period right there. All right. And now I'm going to do parenthesis space, parentheses 2020 and parentheses period. The site name was Britannica School Middle. I'm going to put my period because that's what's in there. I'm going to write the word retrieved and I'm going to put today's date, which is December 3rd, comma, 2020, another comma, from, and then I'm going to paste my URL. So I'm going to grab my URL, and then I'm going to paste it. Now, you'll notice if I paste it, it stays bold. I'm going to tell you a little trick. If you do press Control, Shift, V, that is paste matching the format of wherever you're going. So here you can see now I have a proper citation. Now, if you want to format it correctly too, you're going to highlight it, and you're going to grab this little arrow, and you're going to drag it over and then you're going to grab the top and drag it back because that's called indenting it. So they'll be set the proper way. So there's how you have it. That's how you do a website. Let's look at one more example in case it looks a little bit different on a different page. So when I was researching Shirley Chisholm, I had to get some more information. So I searched her and I found this article in Smithsonian Magazine. The title is Unbought and Unbossed When a Black Woman Ran for the White House. So I have all that information still here. You can see it looks a little bit different than before, but I still have both of those things. So going back here, I'm going to highlight the title of my web page. So I highlight it, press Control C. I can also right click and do copy, your choice. I'm going to go back to my research notes. I'm going to put the title of the page here. Now remember, Control Shift V and it's going to paste it like you want it. If I don't do that, look at how it would paste. It's kind of wonky, right? That's not what I want. So I have control shift V. All right. So I have the title of my web page. I'm going to go back here. This was from Smithsonian I can speak Smithsonian Magazine. Now you see I can't highlight it because it just makes me click on it. So I'm going to have to type that. I can go ahead and grab my URL which is right here. Click copy and remember paste control V. So I have everything here. 
Now, the last thing I need is my year published. So remember, because this is an article, remember the first thing we want to do is look at the top and right here, this is the actual date it was published. Now, you can include the month, the day, and the year if you have it because that gives you that more information. April 25th, 2016. Let me double check that. Yes, that is correct. All right, so I have all my information again. So let's go ahead and turn that into a uh, citation that I would actually use. Now, you can see that my bar and triangle are staying the same, so it's automatically going to indent for me. So I'm going to use my copy and paste. I'm going to Control C, and I'm going to do Control Shift V, breaking ground. Now you can see it didn't quite go the way I needed it to, so I'm going to delete that space. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to put my period, and the date was April 25th, 2016, end parentheses, period. Where did I get it? What was the site name? Smithsonian Magazine. And you can see I spelt that wrong, so I'm going to go click on it really quick. And then I'm going to put my period. You guessed it. And then I have to write the word retrieved and today's date whenever I got it. So today is December 3rd still, 2020. And then I'm going to put my comma from, and I'm going to go back up here, grab my URL, whoop, control C it come down here and control shift V it and you can see now everything's indented underneath here and this is now properly cited for a web page. Oh, but wait, one more thing before I go. I just realized that sometimes, here's a page I use, you can't find a date. Now don't confuse this because this is her birth date and death. I can't find a date on this page. Scrolling down, there's nothing at the bottom. There's their resources. So I gotta scroll back up. I am not seeing anything. If you don't see anything, that's okay. What you're going to do is you are going to do exactly what I did right here and put N period D, which stands for no date. Okay. All right. I hope that helps scholars. Happy researching.